Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're doing a little bit of an update from the no OCP cross impact build we did a couple months back. This time we're running one OCP on it and obviously we're going to run JDR or Juliet the Rachel, which you can actually get from um, Sky Fortress. It's a drop from uh, the Stefan Ernest Jack Wolf MVP at the end. Um, it's very hard to get, but it's still something that you can, you know, get in the game rather than actually paying on the in the cash shop to actually get it from an OCP box or a Kachua box. Um, so yeah, this is a little bit of an update, um, especially if you don't have access to the Awakened Shiver Guitar. The Old Bone Circlet obviously is our headgear of choice, apart from the additional critical damage. You also get cross impact damage um, of 15% per two refined levels of the headgear. Um, you also need acute level 5, critical damage plus 80%, crit plus 15, obviously you can just do the guaranteed one with 1100 curse fragments, and of course the Angromantis card because obviously it's probably the best um, headgear card right now for um, critical build, especially for Thief class. Even then, still 2% critical damage, which is a huge difference. Um, Grace Assassin Suit, obviously more critical damage, although it doesn't look like us, you know, it gives a lot of, um, uh, I guess, bonuses apart from the other Grace sets, but the critical damage itself already um, puts a big impact on, well, <laughs> cross impact. Um, obviously, you need the Grace Attack Boots as well. Um, I don't have a card on this still. You probably put like Firelock Soldier card um, or. You know, something cheap. I want a white Priscilla card, probably. Um, you know, this is actually um, this is actually one of the card, one of the boots that actually have minus 0.5% FCT, so it's still pretty good. The attack man to you, um, you know, physical damage uh, uh, plus 10%. Um, it also also has um, attack speed and ACD reduction. I just have the pedal card here just because I just didn't want the card. It right now, probably the best card option is the Glensis card. At 125 luck, you can get 30% critical damage plus a little bit more bonuses. But yeah, obviously, if you're on a budget, pedal card is probably your best bet. Um, and then Grace Attack Ring, obviously, it has the critical damage 10%, which is actually a very big help with this build. And I'm just running the Gold Scarab card, which is you know staple attack plus 20, um, although it does get minus 1% HP. Um, JDR Juliet the Rachel used to be the strongest guitar in the game. Um, it's now since been, <laughs> um, I guess toppled by new stuff, but again, attack percentage, um, attack speed uh, per upgrade level, and I have um, FS7 and FS6 on here. Um, you would run sharp, um, the sharpen chance if you're actually doing like a full um, cross impact build. True Aramis Guile card, very cheap card right now because obviously there's a lot in circulation, but. At, uh, at plus 10 and a level 4 weapon, you actually get 60% um, cross impact damage per card, so that's 120%. Big help, especially with uh, with the damage boost. And the only OCP we have in, in the build is the Immortal Dog Tag, which is um, basically there to combo with the JDR because of the, you know, although it's attack plus 50, M attack plus 50, but you actually increase it, it cr increases your physical damage by 5% per upgrade level of JDR. So minus at plus 12. So we're looking at additional um, 60%. And if it's at plus nine, you know, at 10% chance of casting level 10 or ratio. Um, it also has um, the uh, gold scarab card. You know, like I said, staple card, especially if you need that additional attack boost and you have nothing else to put on. But let's do a little bit of a damage test, give you guys a little bit of, um, of an update from the last video, you know, what this sort of set does. Alright, here we are at the eggs. Um, first, we're going to do the damage test on the neutral egg. Um, you know, just to give you just a rundown of um, how the damage is, especially with the boost from JDR. So we're looking about 360k um, without the the critical, almost 1 million, uh, or at 1 million once you uh, once um, you actually, it actually crits because cards are back. It does crit? It, nobody knows. Um, let's try the um, EDP. Let's see how much damage we're getting. 
to about 500k per hit, 530k per hit. Um, without the um, without crits, about 200k per hit. So yeah, it's very important you actually boost your critical uh, rate. Um, I you know, obviously don't have this much crit right here, but once you actually have it up to 100, you actually get a 100% chance of critting every time. So you know, damage such as that. Alright, next we're going to do the uh, fire egg. And uh, we're going to do obviously a water enchant. It's about 196k um, at crit, 190k at upper hit at crit, and about 70k, 73k per hit without the um, critical damage. Jesus Christ, man. I'm trying to do a video here. Um, let's see, EDP. It's about 700k, 830k per hit. That's a critical. Without critical, it's about 260, 270k. Yeah, it's actually um, that's actually pretty good. Obviously, with uh, we're doing 1.4 million damage per hit on a crit cross impact with Bar Claw. Jesus. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that damage test. Um, got a little bit derailed there trying to do my um, my testing videos um, in uh, in the evenings or early mornings. That way, you know, some of you guys are asleep. And I get the egg room to myself, but still, if you, um, you know, whoever that was, you found your way in the video. Um, but yeah, the, um, you know, that's basically it. Um, Juliet, Rachel, and Immortal Dog Tag is pretty, damage is pretty good. I would, you know, for me, I would still go for Awakened Server Guitar just because um, it frees up your accessory slot for something else, something like PDM or maybe um, Ring of Silver Claw, which is a um, new accessory. It's very cheap right now compared to all the other accessories, especially when you're looking for critical damage and additional crit rate. But um, yeah, JDR is probably one of the FTP Qatars and it has been one of the strongest Qatars in the game for a while before the new stuff came out. Um, if you can get your hands on if you get one from um, Sky Fortress, consider upgrading and consider getting Immortal Dog Tent to, you know, help with your build. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time.